Hi everyone, I'm Adam Rogers with Metro Home Theater Group, and today we're going to show you how to use the hot plug interrupt feature of the AIO2 with the contact closures of a Control 4 controller. So first we're going to use the Cat5 cable as just a simple connection between the Control 4 controller and our AIO2. We'll take the connections and we'll go between the common and normally closed, and using our screwdriver we will tighten everything down. We'll do the same thing with the Phoenix connector on the AIO2. And it doesn't matter which side you put this into the Phoenix connector on the AIO2. And then we'll plug it in. Now open your project to Composer Pro and search for the generic single relay driver. I like to name it the AIO2 just to ensure we know where it's at. Now make the connection from the AIO2 driver to the controller that you're using and then go to programming. Inside programming, the first thing we want to do is on power off, we want to open the relay, and then on a video selection change for the room that we're controlling, if it's any of the sources that are selectable. Then select the conditional for video device selected is any of our sources then add one for each source. Then we want to add an open relay for each source, a closed relay for each source, and add a 50 millisecond delay for each source. Now, when each source is selected, the relay will open, it will delay 50 milliseconds, and close. And now whenever you select a source, the AIO2 will initiate a hot plug interrupt.